This is part one of the recorded version of the library workshop downloading articles. Part one covers full text buttons and downloading PDF files. And in the example today we're going to be looking in PubMed. This is an example record from PubMed and you can see um, I've got a library full text button and I've also got this button from Elsevier. Just to provide some clarification on why you see different types of buttons, the top button from Elsevier is a publisher button. It is unrelated to our library access. It may still work sometimes when you're on campus, but it's not the button that you should rely on to get to articles. The TUC online full text button is the indicator of whether or not full text is available through the library. And to explain a little bit more about what the differences are here, when you see the TUC online full text button, that means that you're inside the library's proxied access. So whenever you're inside the library's proxy access, you get the version of PubMed that we've been able to link all of our database resources to. And the way you tell whether or not you're inside the proxy is by looking at the URL for a website and looking for the text library.toro.edu. And the proxied access with library.toro.edu is good whether or not you're on or off campus. This is why um, if you're doing research from home or if you're on rotation, you need to come to the library's website first and use our links to link into our resources and then log in with your barcode because that's how you get inside of our proxy. Just to show you what the other piece of this looks like, if you're outside the proxy, so again, if you're off campus and you try to go into PubMed by Googling PubMed, you will not be inside of our proxy. And you can see here, library.tu.edu does not appear in the URL. And you can see the TUC online full text button is missing because you're not in the library's proxy to access. And again, this is what you see if you're off campus and you don't log in through the library's website. So logging in through the library's website is really important for all of the online access. PDF download links. Links may be labeled differently in different places. I'm going to show you examples in a couple of different databases so you'll have a good idea of what to look for to download a single file. This is our example article. We have access to this through Science Direct and you can see in the upper corner here there's a download PDF link. This is from the Cochrane Library, which is published by Wiley, and you can see there's a link over here at the top. Sometimes there's also a link up here in the article tools, and you can see that the graphic you'll be looking for is the logo for an Adobe file. And you can see here again, there is the PDF icon and a PDF full text link. This is from EBSCO, and in this case, I did have to click on the title of the article and load this page to get the download link. One more example, this is from ProQuest, and you can see there are a couple of different options for you to download a PDF copy. One thing you can do is click the disk icon and save as a PDF. You could also use a print to PDF utility, and to do that you would click this printer icon, and then select Adobe PDF as your printer. Or you could click the download PDF button on the right. We hope that you enjoyed the video and found it useful. As always, if you have questions, you can contact the library. Our main phone number is 707-638-5300, or you can email us at tuc.library at tu.edu.